Hello everyone, it's Fiona. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for being here. Um, in this video, I want to um, alter a notebook. Um, but I did find, I think it was a pack of two of these. Um, this is just, I've already put some, um, some double-sided tape on this one, ready to do my cover. So... They just look like this with the craft cardstock and they've got, but they've got this um, sort of binding the same as the um, composition notebooks. But you can absolutely also just use um, any notebook like an exercise book. Um, here in Australia we have um, the little school books, the ones for school and they're called exercise books you can alter them the same and I probably will alter one of those as well so I'll do a separate video for that so this one has 60 pages so I think that means 60 leaf so it's probably 120 front and back and um, so I'm not going to remove any pages because I think that's that's a pretty good number of pages. Um, I know some people when they do the alter the composition notebooks, I think they're around about a hundred pages or more. They remove some of the pages, or they glue two pages together. But in my case, I'm not going to do that because I don't think I need to. And these ones measure nearly seven inches by about nine and three quarters. So I'm gonna show you what I'm using. Um, and I'm only using these papers because I've had these printed out already. I had these, I've probably had them printed out since last year and I haven't really used them. So this is an autumn kit that I've got in my shop and it's not the whole kit though, it's just a few pages that I'd printed out. I think I printed on the back of some of them, yep. So I want it to have a kind of an autumn theme. This one didn't print out too well, but I could use the other side. But then as well as the printables, so these are the printables. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I think it's called Autumn Calling. I'll put it in the description box anyway. So I've got a fair few pages there, so I'm not sure if I really need all these extras, but I'll show you all the extras that I've pulled out. Um, so there's the tags, there's an envelope. And I want to use, I want to use some of these. I want to use some of the ephemera in there as well. Lots of little cards with autumn um, verse quotes on there. Um, there's some more pockets, some more pockets. There's another envelope, and I may not use all of these either. Um, some tuck spots, and another envelope there, and some ephemera, I think. I also have an autumn folio. This is from the autumn folio ephemera, but I had that printed out, so I've brought that out as well. So I am going to use some of those. Um, let me see, where's the one that I already figured out what I wanted on the cover, so I just just find that again. It's probably at the bottom. Right. So I wanted the sunflower. Yeah, I wanted the sunflowers on the cover. So I'll just put that aside. But I also brought out some scrapbook papers, the 12 by 12s, because I had a lot that would match this theme. So I've got sort of a burnt orangey colour. I've got a nice yellow there. Uh, this 
one here with some leaves. I don't know if I'll use them all as I say, but I just pulled these out thinking that they may match the theme. And then I've brought out, um, that's just a scrap. I don't know what they're doing in there. I had a colouring page here from this, um, I've got heaps of colouring books and I keep meaning to use them in journals and I haven't. So this is an autumn one and I pulled out this page thinking that I could um, probably put it into a pocket and then one day I might want to do some colouring in and I'll, I'll glue this onto one of the journal pages. Um, I have some of my handmade paper, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But because some of the colours were sort of an autumn theme, um, I love this colour. And this one here is sort of like a chocolate. I think I put... I think I might have actually put cocoa in this paper before I made it. Um, I haven't done a video on making your own paper. Um, it's just because it takes up a lot of room and I don't really have a lot of space, but that there are lots of tutorials on YouTube um, for making your own handmade paper. And if I find one, I'll link one below. And this is just a cream colored cardstock in case I needed some and then I've got a green I've got a green scrapbooking paper here so that's what I'm using okay so let's get into altering this and in today's video we're not going to get it all done because it's probably going to be a longish process I did think about just speeding it up and um, adding some music but I think you know I'd rather explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it um, some parts I might speed up or cut out because they might be repetitive now I've printed mine onto a, a, well, it's a thin cardstock it's um and I've printed on the back it's 200 GSM so for your covers, you definitely want cardstock or a thicker paper. Not just your ordinary um, printer paper. Because um, it could buckle. Although, if you use score tape, which I'm going to use on the covers, you should be fine. And you know, just your double-sided tape. Mine just happens to be, I think it's half an inch. I've got another roll here. So you could do it like that, but I just wanted something a bit sturdier. So anyway, I'm not going to measure because if to me, it, if I start trying to measure and then cut things exactly, um, they, they don't always fit and it, it takes me double the time. So I'd be gluing it down and then um, cutting around it. So I've already cut this border off here. And, but the, before I put my paper on, um, I saw someone else doing this. I want to put, see the colour of this spine. I'm, I don't mind the colour of this spine because it's a grey and grey is pretty neutral. But if you had a colour you didn't want, like for instance, the other notebook I was showing you had a bright greenish yellow, um, you probably want to cover that up. But you can also cover it up afterwards um, with... Some lace or something just like you would with your junk journals or scrapbook paper so I'm just putting a strip of this gold it's sort of a gold washi tape down my spines and then I'm bringing it into the inside and the reason I want to do that is that I want the inside paper to glue, to stick down over the top of these strips to make sure that it's in place. And I just went on my paper a little bit there, but 
that's okay. This one, this one will more than likely be covered as well. So that's the front. Now I'll just put some on the back. And I hope I don't forget which is the front and the back. So I'm just putting it right against the inner edge of the happens to be the exact width of the back one. I think it's half an inch as well, this uh, washi. So it's kind of a quick way of making journals is using a notebook. Um, And I think they're great for using as just a daily sort of a journal or diary, whatever you call it. It's a little bit creased, but I don't mind. A little bit creased. And then I, I'm going to decide whether I'm going to leave this like that or put something else on there at the end. But I just want to get those on there. Now, for sticking on the the cover page, you just need to put your score tape around the edges, first of all, and take it right to the edge, just so that we have good... Um, adhesion of our paper to the edges so I'm burnishing it down when I put it on and I just I just tear mine probably should cut it but so right to the edge mine's got a few um, I don't know what it is, I think it's paint or a felt pen on there, but that's okay because we'll be ripping that off. And then all the way down this edge, just need to get my head over that so I can see. And then just a couple of strips down the center is all you need. You don't need it all over unless you want to, but I'm certainly not going to go all over with half inch strips. Just like that and that should be enough. So the other thing you can do though is add glue, which I might add a little bit to the middle. Um, shall I? Because the whole reason I didn't want to do it with glue is because I don't want it to buckle. I want the paper to stay smooth. But we'll see. I'm just going to take my tape off. Scissors. Oops. Let's see, what can I use? I find it hard with my fingers. Should I do next? 
this one. Now once I've done the front cover inside and out, I will speed it up for the back cover or I'll cut that out completely because it'll be exactly the same. And then we'll move on. Oh, that's not right. That's not it. There we go. And I think I will use a little bit of glue just because this tape that I'm using is actually fairly old. I mean, you think it shouldn't have lost its sticky, but and I'm using a clear craft glue because I find it. Um, I'm not going to go right to the edges because I find it dries quicker and it's not as wet as just PVA. So I like the clear craft glue, just a little bit. And then I'll just line this up and I want my, this is the way up I want my paper. Just line it up with the spine. And glue it down. As far as decorating the cover goes, um, I think I will also leave that till the end. But we'll just get all our pages prepped. So the next thing is to remove all of this. If I can do it with my scissors. use my larger ones do it with your scissors or um, use a ruler and your um, craft knife I don't think my craft knife is very sharp at the moment but I may have to use it for some of this because sometimes it's awkward to get your scissors into where you want to get your scissors into. do something with it so that's my front cover I know I'm liking that already like you wouldn't think this was just a plain craft notebook and it's all down nice and smooth and you can see there's no there's absolutely no buckling of the paper so I'm going to do the same with the inside, but I think when it comes to the inside and the inside pages, from how I've watched other people, um, it seems that the best way is to not is not to stick your papers right to the to the spine to the fold. Leave them back maybe a quarter of an inch because otherwise you get an effect where they, when you close the book, they fold up and the book doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't open and close properly. So you end up with all these folded up edges. So inside the book, I would leave your papers, you know, maybe a half an inch to even an inch away from the center fold okay so let's see what i want inside and i was thinking i was thinking Let me 
think. Because I want to use some of the scrapbook tape. Huh? Thinking maybe this yellow one actually. Or should I use that for a pocket? Now I might use this one. Because it's more of a background. And keep some of those papers for pockets. I could probably maybe use this one inside the back cover or something. Yeah, okay. So all we need to do again is put your tape on. Okay, so I know that we are going to see the sides of that washi tape. Um, I wasn't expecting it to come so close to the fold actually but I am going to cover the, the washi tape slightly and then what I will do when I've done this page is I'll put another strip of washi tape all the way down so that it'll hide these little bits here yeah that's what I'll do so now I'm just going to put on my tape again. You sort of prize this book open. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, glue on this one and maybe just cut the very edge because it's, it's going over to the, the other page. There, that's a bit better. I'll do the same with this one. And glue it down. Okay, so let's get our tape. So this is going to be the same process as the outside but I'm, I'm going to start my tape just, just over the edge of the washi tape. So I'm leaving, I would say a quarter of an inch. Just get that straight. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch from the centre.
I've done my front, outside and inside cover and now with the edges I'm not too worried about there being a little bit of overhang because what I can do is I can get a little bit of sandpaper or a nail file and just sand down those edges just to make them a bit more even or I could come in with my craft knife and trim that but I'm just trying to trim as much as I can with my smaller scissors and then I will be inking the edges completely straight okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the back cover in exactly the same way and then I'll be back okay so I'm back and I've covered the front uh, outside and inside and then the back outside and inside okay so for the next the next part um, the first couple of pages I'm going to turn into a pocket I'm going to fold it like this and it'll be glued down here and here as a pocket here so first of all we need to cover this page and front and back and this will be the pocket to go on to that I know some people do their pockets this way you can also fold your page down this way and you can create a pocket like this but my page the first couple of pages are kind of shorter this way than the rest of the pages because of the way it's bound so it doesn't quite reach the edge of the page behind if I do it like that your notebook might be different but that's the way mine is so that's why I've decided to just go with doing the pocket this way so I don't have to worry about that so the first thing I'm going to do is glue um, glue these down so I'm just going to glue this one down And I didn't really measure I just uh, you know roughly decided how far in I would want to I'd want my pocket so that's up to you and glue this one on top I should put some glue also in here to glue the actual pages together And then we're going to cover them. So I'm going to cover the front and the back of this next page um, with. Um, scrapbook paper or printable and I will speed up this section of the video I think I'm going to use I might just use glue on the inside you could still use the double sided tape um, but I think I'll use glue um, so Okay. 
might put um, maybe this one on the front. So just need to cut the edge off. And I'm going to keep it a little bit away from the edge, not right up to the edge just like before it doesn't need to go all the way in anyway um, because of the pocket but yeah it doesn't need to go all the way in but I'll just cut this edge off anyway It's only going to go to, I only need about there, then I've got a lot more paper left over for something else, possibly another pocket. So, um, as I said, I will speed this up and you can watch me as I do this. pegs here to hold that until it dries but you can see how I've left it away from the edges because if I was to put this paper right to here it's just going to sort of crumple and fold but we will do something here like I could put a strip of um, some sort of trim here um, when I come back and decorate it at the end or possibly another piece of washi tape or something like that but for now I'm just going to leave it so the next step is to do the back exactly the same 
so oh, it's because I've got my pegs on, it's kind of I don't want to fold open properly. Like, what's going on there? It's a bit um, crumpled in this corner. Yeah, it's a little bit crumpled. I'm not sure why. It could be just that the glue is still a bit wet, but should should settle down, I think. Now the other thing I want to do that I haven't done yet is obviously ink all my edges, which I'll come back and do. So that's the front pages, back front and back pages and the pocket page. And then all I'm going to do now is do exactly the same on the back. So I've got my pocket ready to go and I'm going to decorate this page. Now I won't do that now because you know you know exactly what you need to do. Um, I think you get the idea. So I'm just going to pin that there for now. So the next thing that you'd want to do after you've done your pockets is divide your journal or book into a couple more sections. And this is if you want to make like dividers because basically the front and back pocket are like your first section anyway and then you want to just choose a page I've just got like two more sections here and here where I will cover the front and back of one of these pages so say the front and back of this page and the front and back of this page and then you will have like dividers so that would be the next thing and then what we would do after that is um, I'm going to put some washi tape on the edges of all the pages that are left which will take a little while but that's basically um, it all I'm going to do for this video because otherwise the video is going to get too long so just do your front and back pockets as I've done mine whether you want the pockets going this way or like this and then just decide how many dividers you want in between and I'm just going to do two I'm not even counting I'll just do one here and one here and then I've got those little sections and just cover the front and back of those pages and then I will edge my pages with washi tape which I will show you when we come back in the next video and um, show you what we need to do next. So, yep, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye-bye.